Hey guys, this video is going to go over scatter plots, and the, our main focus for this video would be um, describing the relationships between the variables on the x and y axis to see once those dots are there, do they form any type of pattern so we can see a correlation between the, the two variables. First of all, we need to know how we're going to describe them. We're going to be using three different characteristics. The first one is the strength of the relationship between the two variables. And that basically is how closely are the points or the dots on the graph clustered together. Is it like a magnet and they're being pulled closely together? Or are they spread out far apart from each other? Then a second characteristic is slope. And slope is just the direction or the pattern. Could be also called the path that the points or the dots on the graph are going. Are they continuing to go up and up and up or down, down, down? Um, the third and final characteristic we're gonna use today is linearity. Do the points overall form some type of straight path across the graph or do they make a curve or a bend or is just there no pattern or a path at all as you move across the graph? So our first example is on strength. We have two examples. We are going to use the two words as strong or weak. As you can tell, the graph that has a strong correlation, those dots are pulled tightly close together. So you can add this somewhere. Um, um, I'm going to say the dots are tight or they are close together. And then when you look at the weak graph, uh, the dots on this side, they are um, far apart or they have space in between. There's not a very strong um, magnetizing force among all the dots pulling them close together. The second characteristic was slope, and this first graph is an example of negative. Okay, I'm gonna draw um, a line going down these just to separate because I'm gonna write some extra information on this. So if you're in your journal, you might have to write this out to the side, but in a negative slope, you know it's negative because as x increases, the y will decrease. So overall, my path, when I look at it, it starts high and then it ends up going low. Then the second graph, um, on this one, there's different choices. Um, so I'm going to skip that one. I'm going to go to the last one. This last choice would be an example of positive slope. And then as we describe this one, uh, the dots start low on the left side of the graph and then they move higher and higher. So when I describe that um, with written words, I would say as x increases or moves across, as x increases, the y will also increase. Then in the middle, we have some choices. Um, this particular one, I would say that it, it does not have a slope at all um, because we can't tell what's happening. But our choices are um, zero slope, undefined, um, or I'm just going to say that there's absolutely no correlation because I can't see any type of path. Um, sometimes that happens. So on this one, if it's a zero slope, um, that means you have a horizontal line. So your path would be going just left to right. If you have undefined slope, um, that's when you have a vertical 
pattern. So your lines would, your dots would be forming more straight up and down. And then um, no correlation means they don't have any relationship at all. <clears throat> it's just random and spread out all over the place. So this one in particular, um, it's just all over the place. So this one, I have no idea where to draw my line because I don't know if it's going sideways. It's definitely not going up and down, so it's not undefined. Um, but I guess I could say zero slope on this one because mostly they're going straight across, but there is a few low, um, low points. But those are your three. Zero slope, if your path is going mostly sideways across your graph horizontal, Undefined if your path is going straight up and down, and then absolutely no correlation at all if it's random and it's just kind of spread out all over the graph. Our third choice of how to describe the relationship between your x and y axis or the variables um, is linearity. So your two words would be, which we've had before, linear or nonlinear. And then when you look at your graph, um, mostly these dots, um, they form the path of a straight line. I'm gonna add that at the bottom. Um, dots will form, and it doesn't have to be a perfect because this is a scatter plot. Um, but overall, your dots will form the path of a straight line. I should put straight. However, if you were to trace the path of this second graph that's nonlinear, you can tell that it has a bend in it or a curve. So on this side, dots will form the path with a bend or curve. Or it could just be totally random because totally random would also mean nonlinear.